Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, and today we're going to talk about what you can do to help save the monarch butterfly. When I was growing up in California, millions would migrate from Mexico up to Canada every summer and then back down to Mexico every winter, and it was enchanting watching them in our gardens. Unfortunately, 80% of them had been wiped out in the last five years, and just last month, they were added to the endangered species list. And one of the reasons that they've been wiped out is loss of milkweed habitat due to road development and housing development and a lot of use of pesticides. And this is a critical plant for the development of the monarch All right, caterpillar. So All right, so you saw in the earlier part of this video why it's important for us to do our part to help the monarch butterfly thrive all across America. Here's what you can do today. I like planting Asclepias in my garden. This is an incredibly important plant. So this is milkweed, both the original and the Curvasa. And what's great about these is when you plant them together, you get a couple different colors of yellows and oranges. These are incredibly important plants for butterfly habitat. So today I'm gonna to plant a couple of new ones right here next to my butterfly bush. Now this is the wonderful Buddleia divini that is a great food for the butterfly bush. This is a great habitat plant for the butterfly bush, and I like to pair them up in gardens. So pop them out of the can, rough up the roots, put them in the hole, do the same with the other one, pop them out of the can, make sure you rough up those roots so the roots will go horizontal instead of spiraling around, and put them down in the hole. You want them nice and even to grade. Now, once they're in the hole, wonderful product, and I'll talk more about this at the next video. I like to throw in some slow release fertilizer called Best Packs. So, for one gallon, I just need a couple in the planting hole. My dog Ginger is doing a wonderful job inspecting my planting technique. Good job, Ginger. Let me finish up here. Yes, you are wonderful. Can I finish? Thanks. Okay. Ah, let me finish, dog. Okay, so throw a few best packs in there. Then we want to throw a little grow mulch into the hole as well. This is a wonderful planting medium um, and also adds a little bit of fertilizer. So I'm going to throw that in. Mix in some of the native soil and kind of put it back in and we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful butterfly garden right here in this part of my garden with the butterfly bush and the butterfly weed and the milkweed here. It's going to be great and I'm doing my part to help the monarch butterfly survive and thrive. After you've planted your Asclepius, don't forget to water it. The reason Asclepius is such an important habitat plant is the monarch butterfly will lay its eggs on Asclepius. The eggs will hatch and then out will come these beautiful caterpillars. The caterpillars then eat the milkweed leaves and that gets them the energy to become big and fat and beautiful and those in turn spin cocoons and become the monarch butterfly. And that's why Asclepius is such an important plant to the habitat. But it's also important that you have a mixture of butterfly plants in your garden, like lantana and the butterfly blush. These are important to also mix in the garden as well. So please take care of planting some Asclepius, plant some butterfly bush, cut down your use of pesticides, and help save this beautiful butterfly so that your children and grandchildren can see these fluttering all over the garden. Well, that's all the time for today. Thank you so much. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener. Thanks for watching.